Hey there, this is Heather with TwoBlooms.com here to show you how to edit your greens in Lightroom. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I love sharing tutorials about Lightroom, how you can edit better and faster and easier. I don't like to complicate things. I like to use proven systems, proven steps that work and make your workflow so much better and so much faster. So every photo that I edit, I'm always going to use a preset. They save me time, they save me effort, and they create consistency in my work. However, presets aren't always a one-click wonder. I like to tell people this because every preset is different and they're going to look different on different photos. So it's important to know the tools over here in the develop panel, how they work so you can adjust your presets as needed. Whether you're using presets from my shop or your own created presets, whatever, knowing how to adjust them and tweak them is going to make you a better editor and it's going to save you so much time. All right, so to get started, I'm going to come over to my Life in Color collection. I use this for about 90% of my work. This creates consistency in my photos. It really helped me define my editing style and I just love it. It adds a nice amount of color and contrast without it being too, too much. So for this photo, I'm going to, first of all, add a little bit of sharpening. What I love about this collection is that it has all these little tools here to help me breeze through my workflow even faster. I'm going to add Define. This just adds a little bit of contrast and I can always adjust as needed. And then I'm going to come down to my Dazzling preset. This is probably my most used preset. I use it on a lot of my work because as you'll notice when you become um, a more tuned, a more fine-tuned photographer is that your shooting style remains consistent, your lighting is very consistent, so you're going to be reaching for the same presets more often. So I use this one a lot. I'm also going to add a center light just to add some more light in here. And then I'm going to come over here to adjust the exposure just a little bit. Maybe even adjust the temperature, and that looks pretty good. All right, so what I don't love about this edit are the greens. They're looking a little dingy, yellowish. I want the more natural spring green, okay? So we're going to come down here to the HSL panel, which stands for Hue, Saturation, and Luminance. So what I want to start out with is the hue. I want to change these greens to be a bit more green and less yellow. So I clicked on this little icon and that is like an adjustment icon where you can hover over any of the color in your photo and you can click on it and drag your mouse up or down and it's going to change the hue of the color that's selected. So in this case, I'm going to click up because I want it more of that green color with less yellow and you can notice over here how that has changed on my slider. So the yellows are becoming less orange and more green. The greens are becoming more of this bluish color. Oh, I really really like this. Um, and let me just show you before we started doing that. Before and after. And then I'm going to come over here to saturation. The greens are a little bit bold and I don't like my colors too crazy. I love color, but I don't like it being too much. So I'm just going to click on this again, hover over the greens, click and pull down just to desaturate these just a bit. Maybe right about there. So not too much, but it's not too, not too bright. If I were to saturate it more, you can see how those greens are being saturated. This kind of just takes the edge off the color. And then to finish it off, it's the luminance or how much light is in the color. So I can, with my eyedropper still selected, I can click and drag up for more light or drag down for less light. I kind of like the more light look. Really adds to the photo. But that's about it. So I'm going to click done. 
already applied my sharpening preset. I might add a little bit more vibrance. This just adds more color to the midtones without adjusting the saturation. Might add a little bit more of the whites just to kind of brighten it up. And there we have it. So you can see a before and after with a few preset adjustments and a few hand edits. We really helped these greens kind of calm down, less yellow, more green. And that's it. So if you liked this video, if you found it helpful, and if it's going to help you with your Lightroom editing, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you'll be the first to know whenever I release a new tutorial. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.